My gun's loaded this time. You're some kid. I'm growing. We'll forget about it, sugar fish. You the foreman? That's right. Does it suit you? Well, I'm not prepared to say just now. <laughs> well, it suits me. Say, if you're holding a grudge about yesterday, I just want you to know that I'm a peaceable man. <laughs> you think you busted anything, Tom? Oh, yeah. Hmm? My pocket watch. I'd like to get dressed. Oh, don't let Linda stop you. She's the one who put you in that nightshirt. Can. Wouldn't let anybody else near you. <laughs> then you uh, swing it. Like fish? No fish. Nothing answering that description. You have other girl? I don't have any girl. You got girl now. Mama, well, now you should. Oh no, talk! Why'd you do all this for me? Are you expecting a reward of some kind? Can't one man help another without wanting something? Well, skin me alive. If you ain't the most peculiar man I ever run up against. Now you, you just might as well come on and tell me where it is because Duke ain't gonna kill you till he knows. And you ain't gonna get out of here alive. Gee, I guess I'm gonna jam. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> work. You dirty, no good, low down, double crossing, sugar foot. But, but Miss Peaches, they were gonna kill you. Kill me? Oh, fiddlesticks! You said you were a lawyer, is that right? Well, sir. Well, that's good because I need a lawyer. I need one real bad. Yeah, but I'm not. Don't talk, just walk. That's all I'll do. I'll, I'll walk. I won't say a word. Just keep walking here. Tell me who you are, Mister. I'll blow you plumb apart. Well, I never did see such a family. Every one of you always gonna blow me apart. You must be Joan. Who are you, mister, and what are you doing here? Well, my name's Tom Brewster, and I just... Do you mind if I get up? Stay right where you are. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What's the meaning of this? It means that you're a liar, and a cheat, and a crook, and a murderer. And that's true, isn't it? All true. And those eyes. So soft and gentle one minute, and the next... And the next, biting and cutting like, like pinpointed daggers. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. That gentleman is a woman. Bet I can guess what's been making you so ornery. I ain't ornery. I'm just disgusted. Didn't get to see your Jersey Lily, did you? No. Too bad. Hey, Mrs. Kirk. Mrs. Kirk. I'm sorry, James. You're, you're... Oh, my. I'm 
many times I gotta tell you gentlemen not to threaten my compadre? Keep him covered, Utah. <laughs> like a Comanche in a blizzard. You gonna give that horse all that water? He needs it more than I do. The whole ten dollars worth? He earned it. Horses earn everything they get. Yeah, and a whole lot more. Mr. Cameron, there are two things in life that you can't escape, and Texas is one of them. We don't like sheep, mister. They're bad enough on the range, let alone in the middle of town. Yeah. A coyote's bad enough in a hen house, let alone mix it with people. Why, you... Uh. All right. Take him to your boss. Tell your boss I'm coming out to see him. And tell that animal that if he ever so much as looks at those kids again, I'll kill him. You speaking to me? I said that there stuff's hog swill. Anybody who drink it is a pig. <clears throat> well, sure, I say that there stuff is poison. Anybody drink that, be a fool. You call me a pig, that isn't very sociable. I'm gonna kill you, boy. I'm gonna kill you stone dead. Now, now, Sergeant, you can't kill a man just because he likes sarsaparilla. Can I? This woman is my squaw. Now, just a minute. I love this woman. What? She is the sun and the moon and the stars to me. Without her, the great banquet of life would turn to ashes in my mouth. The warmth would go from the sun, the light from the moon, and the gleam from the stars. And darkness would descend over the earth for me. Sister, you want to save that pretty hair of yours, you just better start showing a little affection. How can anyone as pretty as you are have such a gosh awful disposition? There's nothing wrong with my disposition. No, ma'am. I'm as warm and friendly as the next person. Yes, ma'am. Well, there's nobody I can't get along with. No, ma'am. I. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Shucks, that's just an old hooty owl. He won't harm you none. Cold? I guess maybe a little. Well, I mean, no disrespect, but if we huddle close together like this, we'll both be a little warmer. Hmm? You ever considered working? Working? Working. I've never considered that. Well, I mean, if you two are going to take care of each other, you're not going to be much use to Angel if somebody catches you cheating at cards, because you're either going to end up in jail or you're going to end up dead. Now, did you ever consider that? I'll never consider that either, but it's worth thinking about. You just think about that.